Welcome everybody, this is Norm with the Game Design Lexicon. I hope everybody's uh, week is going okay. It is Thursday, uh, July 4th, 2024, and we are playing Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands. That is Wasteland 3, or Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas, both in the same engine. Uh, with all the DLC, we're currently going through the pit on Fallout 3, and then we're going to finish that main quest line, and then we're going to hop over to New Vegas land and do those. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let's uh, continue here. Peace. Give me a sec here. Let me readjust something. Oop. Looks like I am in the full fucking wasters, aren't I? Give me a sec here, trying to adjust my screen, because it looks like crap. There we go. Uh -huh -huh. And away we go. So we were heading for the edge of this train here, so we could get into some sort of underground bunker or something that we were supposed to find. Bunk. I think, anyway. Got my night vision on, which probably kind of useless in the day. Well, I don't know if it's day or not. I guess I could take them off and find out. But no. Oh, there it is. That's what we're looking for. I don't know why I didn't see that. Oh, well, because there's a key. I probably did see it last time, didn't I? Okay. Uh, Underground again. A lot of underground in this game. Our music for today, the Boo Radleys, wake up one of their, uh, I think that was a breakout album. Um, really awesome. Really good stuff. Okay, so here we are. In the sewers. In the darkness. With our night vision goggles on. What? What's that? Oh, what's burning over here? Um, there's like a campfire or something with, I guess somebody was making some fajitas or something? Shit, I don't know. Okay. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Not that we're really worried about not sneaking up on anything. Uh, I think we got our level up high enough to where we are completely kick-ass by now. Um, why not follow the path that we're given? Oh? What? Oh no. Oh no. Boink. 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 Boop. Boop. And boop. Okay. Now steam doesn't hurt. Caution. What are you talking about? I just wasted them all. Oh, there's one more up here, I guess. Oh, there's several more up here, I guess. Uh, I'll take that, sure. Take that, sure. Any more? Any more? Um, this guy's ash pile's in the way. Oh, am I way down? Oh my god, just by taking that? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, what do we got here? Bunch of crap that I probably don't need to be carrying. But for some reason I am. Um Jesus dude. Wild Bill's sidearm. Why did Wild why would Wild Bill use a 32? Uh let's see, what do we got in miscellaneous that weighs? Probably at least something, huh? Let's see, empty syringe, that can go, fork can go, medical clipboard can go. Oh, can't drop the free more money. Sensor module, hell yeah, dude. Wrench, no. That should take us back down, huh? I wish I could drop off some stuff. Cause my stuff is getting stufflier. Oh, shit. No, didn't see me? That was weird. I saw him. 50 out of 100. More energetic. What? 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 Oh, shit. Look at that pose. Oh. 
hose didn't help him any. Uh, it's another one. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on. Oh, that one just lost his limbs. So, take that bobby pin, not take that dirty water pencil. Because we can't handle the weight. Mentas, sure. Everybody loves some good mental energy. I could use some Mentas right now, actually. Actually, I do have Mentas. I got my coffee. Shit. I forgot all about it. Got the coffee Buddha watching over me today. Giving me good caffeinated prayers. And, uh... What's in here? Blood pack. No. Hydra will take that. I'll take the stem packs. Blood pack weighs stuff. Uh, no. Caution. Caution. I don't see anybody, though. I'm guessing this way. Oh, a lot of baddies in here. get to me. Because I couldn't figure out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Now that, that's a sight. Damn it. Jeez. Well, that was an epic fucking fail, wasn't it? Stim pack it up. Buff out Bobby Pin. These guys have nice loot. Oh god damn it. I just took shit that I didn't want to take. Oh shit, there's jet laying around. Okay. So what else we got here? You? That's, that's fucking wonderful, actually. Okay, it's a beautiful morning With the sun shining all around Okay, um, what's this? What did I just pick up? Small ruined book? God damn it. Um, items, miscellaneous... Da, 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 da. Drained energy, large burn book, go away. Pencil, go away. Teddy bear, go the fuck away. Okay. I thought I'm in a perpetual state of caution here. Take anything that weighs money, unless we're willing to get rid of something that, or that weighs money. What the hell does that mean? Um, like these frag grenades, for example. I like his little slave outfit, though. There's a, a few grenades laying there, doesn't he? What the heck? Oh, there's a mine too. Wow. That was a dirty trick. That was a low-down dirty trick. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? I'm on fire. I'm on fire! Hey, Gil Games. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. I was on fire there. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That guy took, took one right to the brain pan and st Oh, shit. Got them all over the... Oh, I can't hit that guy. Oh, Gil. Okay, that's... Great, great, great. I go into people's uh, chats, and I'm the game design lexicon, and everyone calls me by my game design lexicon, and I'm like, no, it's just Thorn. That's the name of my channel. Um, okay, so... Some stim packs here. 
I'm doing okay. Not bad, not bad. I woke up a little late because I stayed up a little late and I forgot to... For some reason, my alarm got turned off and it kind of pissed me off, but... Um, you know, just people things. I hope uh, your Thursday is going okay. Ooh, a metro ticket. Sweet. Um, not that I know what those are for, but it's still kind of cool, huh? Okay, up the stairs, I guess. I'm definitely feeling better than I was yesterday, man. Yesterday was horrible. So the day before yesterday, I had to call a bunch of... Uh, I had to do a bunch of stuff that I uh, should have done, you know, like a half a year ago when I first moved here. You know, things like uh, cancel my insurance in Utah and then renew it here. Um, call, like, uh, workforce services and um, uh, workforce rehabilitation, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, doing that, um, it, it, like, really wears me out. Oh, the brakes on the bike can be fixed without the bike? Oh, weird. Huh. Uh, uh, fun. Oh, hey, a robot. Robbie the robot. I will take his energy cells. Oil disc brake. Uh, when you say bike, are you talking like a motorcycle? Uh, not a lot of bikes, not a lot of uh, bicycles with disc brakes. I guess if it's like a high performance bike, but. Like a, I don't know. I guess, I guess, I mean, I guess I have seen regular bicycles with disc brakes on. What the hell? Where is he? 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 I hear him. I don't see him. Shit. Oh, expensive. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I've heard of uh, disc brakes on a bike, but it's really unusual, huh? Hell, most uh, most motorcycles, a lot of low-end motorcycles don't even have disc brakes. They got, well, typically, uh, like, most mid-range motorcycles are going to have uh, disc backs, or disc fronts and, uh, and drum backs. What's going on? Somebody's like freaking out on me and I don't know where the... Oh, I guess he stopped. Okay, well, fine. Over here then. Uptown Floodlights Control. Terminate Floodlights Power. I guess that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I drove around a motorcycle for years. Um, I don't. I wouldn't do it now at my age, but... And I probably wouldn't do it in Houston again. That's where I started, though. Kind of stupid. Because, uh... Houston drivers are crazy! Like, there were times where I'd, I'd get intentionally... Or people would, like, intentionally bump me off the road. Because they knew I'd move, you know? Or they knew I had to move. I didn't have a choice. Those people are assholes. Oh. Oh, what are you just like rebuilding them? Is that what you do? Is that is that your job? To to do, are you a like a bicycle mechanic? Because if so, that's really fucking interesting, dude. Once upon a time, I used to do car mechanic work, but that was a long time. That was lifetimes ago. Oh, you're a courier. Interesting. Got it. I'm not taking your vodka or your beer or your wine. Dude, I am so weighed down. Okay. Time to get out of here. You're a courier on a bicycle. Oh, would you live in like a big metropolis? Because that's really interesting. Oh, there goes the lights. Lights go boof. And then monsters go, oops. I'm guessing. That will suck, dude. Yeah, that does suck. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that's really interesting, man. Hungry. Um, things that I know about Hungary. Um, Budapest is actually two cities. It's Buda and Pest, right? And that it, it each one's on one each side of the river. I do know hung, hung, Hungarian is the hardest language to learn because it's phonetically the most complex, I believe. There's like no language that's similar to it that we speak. It's not Germanic. It's not uh, Cyrillic. It's not any of those. Three. Gotcha. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I, um, I'm kind of like a hobby linguist. I, I like linguistics and I like learning about languages. Um, kind of stems from my computer science training because in in my computer science major, I um, I specialized in language theory because uh, of course uh, computer languages use a lot of similar logic than regular that regular languages do. The only difference, of course, is they're constructed and not. Uh, and not, uh, natural, not, not, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, well... So, yeah, uh... You can't really judge me, uh, on the same level as... a standard American. Not, not to insult my fellow countrymen, but I have curiosity about the rest of the world. Um... Also, uh, a long time ago, I actually used to have a friend who, um... It was Hungarian, so I learned a decent amount about it. When, when I have a friend who's from the area, or when I know somebody's from the area, I tend to learn, try and learn at least a little bit about it, you know, and show some, uh, it's a good way to show interest in them and, and be somewhat respectful, especially when I'm an American and I'm uh, part of a, uh, a culture who is notorious for being ignorant of foreign issues. Just the, uh, probably the autism showing. Bip. Okay. I'm kind of glad the, um, kind of glad the VATS pauses the game in this. In, in Fallout 4, it actually doesn't pause the game, which sucks. Okay, so now I got the lights off. Where am I supposed to be going here? I guess I'll consult the map. Yeah, the, the one of the things that interested me the most about uh, uh, Hungary was the language, uh, the the fact because um, it's also uh, you know you hear uh, like you hear people say that like uh, Chinese is like one of the hardest languages to learn because it's tonal and um, it's typically more foreign than any other language. But that's not really true because if you're going from an Asian language, changing to the tonal really isn't that much of a change. But um, and then, of course, people also say American, uh, you know, Eng American English is one of the hardest to learn because it has the most um, ex uh, ling linguistic exceptions. Uh, that is, we break the rules of most language grammars and conjugations constantly. Um, oh, four has the building part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Fallout 4 was, was kind of neat with the building. Um, I, when, I, when I decided which Fallout I was going to play... Um, I, uh, I had to, uh, kind of, um, you know, I, I booted up 4, I, I, I installed everything, and then I booted up, uh, Fallout 4, and, uh, played it for a little while, and I had done pretty much everything that I could do in the game, I mean, I, my, like, my character was as powerful as this character is, so, like, everything was like a one-hit kill, um, even without the power armor. That was like the first thing I did was take off my power armor and wander around town and just murder everything. And then, um, armament rifle. And then, uh, then I decided, well, let's uh, take a look at the building aspect and see if I missed any stuff on that. And then, so I went around all the settlements that I had made and found that I had pretty much maxed out all those settlements. Uh, they were all happy as hell, had plenty of food, etc., etc. Yeah, the building element was kind of cool, but, it, you know, I, I don't think it really sustains the game, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's not a little bit, for sure. Yeah, I've, um, 
So, so when I reinstalled it and I'd uh, found out that I'd pretty much did everything that I could do in um, in Fallout 4, I decided that I wasn't going to re-go through it. Another reason was is because it's also one of the most bloated uh, Fallouts. I mean, this one right here is like one-tenth the size of, uh, of Fallout 4. Uh, not that the graphics are as good, but... <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot to start my timer. It's almost time for a break, then. I'll just uh, nix that and then um, break in a sec. Oh. Excuse me. What are you guys doing? Oh, this guy's like fighting. Uh, oh, he didn't. He didn't live that well. And uh, Fallout 3. So I was talking to somebody on a uh, Discord I hang out on, uh, Space Game Junkie. He does a lot of reviews on uh, on Steam. And uh, we were talking about this mod, the the Fallout: A Tale of Two Wastelands, and. It was really interesting, the idea, because I, you know, I hadn't played through Fallout 3 in a while, and I figured if I was going to um, do a playthrough of one, it wasn't going to be, it wasn't going to be one that I'd played recently, so Fallout 3 pretty much hit the tops, and I thought, well, it'd be neat if I could, uh... oh yeah, I know, huh? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a huge roguelike fan, so graphics are definitely not my top priority either. But it'd been, it had been the longest since I'd played 3. Um, as a matter of fact, going through some of, especially some of the DLC on Fallout 3 here, um, I don't remember a lot of this. I don't even remember this area here, even though I know I've played it at least once. So once I get to New Vegas, though, that'll go away, because I've played New Vegas the most. I've, I've played New Vegas so many times that it's not even funny by this time. Uh, supposed to be guys in front of me. I don't see them. Where am I even going? God damn it. I'm lost. Back that way? Yeah, as a matter of fact, one of these days... I oh, shit. Rads. God damn it. Where am I going, dude? Oh, I think it's up there. Damn it. Uh, one of these days, I think I'm going to play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead on uh, stream. Because I love that game. Talk about, uh, like, mediocre graphics, right? complexity of the game is so awesome, though. It's like one of the most complex roguelikes I've ever played. Bottle cap, stim pack, and you can keep the rest. Um, same with all that. Dude, I am at 260 right now. I'm surprised I'm not overweight again. Oh shit! I've been meaning to play some Open Transport Tycoon too. I got that. I got that installed and ready to go. Oh, man, I love Open TTD. It is by far one of my favorite games. What are these guys? Oh, that's a slave. Wait for me. Help me out here. Oh, you can hide, huh? Oh, I got another one. My blood! I knew I heard something. Those guys aren't living long. Dude, I love open TTD. One of the things that I love about it is all the... Um, nice. So, I was playing Colonization last night before I went to bed, and I finally finished a game. Uh, successfully uh, revolted. Which is the first time I've successfully revolted since I started playing it again. Yeah, now uh, Open TTD. The thing that uh, impressed me the most was the stupid uh, multi-window system where you could watch your trains while you worked. It's so so awesome for a little train game. Probably the best. Yeah, it's one of the best, man. I love that game. God damn it, now I'm overweight. Nice work, pal. When I saw those lights go down, I swear I heard the chogs laughing. I think I speak for all of the ex-slaves here when I say good riddance to those bastards. May they rot in a glowing grave. You're welcome. Um. Uh, that leaves me as the new lord of the pit. 
No, let's see. As long as the slaves are free and Marie is safe. Yeah, yeah, everybody's happy. Medea says she'll take care of the kid when she's not too busy with everything else. Don't worry about it. We cut a few corners on research in the brat, so we've already got something good to keep down the rats. It's on the house. But the awesome. real wealth of the city is in that steel mill. You'll have access to the ammo press in there, so go nuts. Oh, Where nice. Oh, no, no. I, uh, I spent a lot of time learning how to make uh, certain types of uh, clover leaves and transitions on YouTube. And oh my god, dude, I've seen some of the monstrosities that people have made, and, like, I don't have the OCD level, and, and, and my autism is just not strong enough to, to be able to make some of those things. I'm, I'm happy to be able to make a working train system that earns a profit, you know? Uh, why isn't everyone cheering? It's not that easy. This is still our home, and there's still lots of work to be done. Killing Asher is just the first step. But if you want, you That's could awesome, keep man. collecting steel from the steel yard. Most folks can't handle it, and the foreman would see you get a reward. And if you really care, Medea said she's looking for toys for the brat. I guess if you find anything, you could bring them to her. But don't you worry about it all. I'll be here to take care of getting the city back into shape. You just bask in the glory, huh? That's awesome. I should take a look at them. Uh, I'm pretty sure I subscribed to your channel um, when you handed me that video to watch. So... Okay, how's the research coming on the cure? Got folks working on it 24-7. It'd go faster if they didn't keep fussing about not hurting the little squirt. Medea's the worst of them. Keeps asking people to bring the kids toys or some sort of bullcrap. You'd think an old slave like her would know how to work without raising a fuss, right? Okay, well, I gotta go, okay? Don't forget to spread the word about the pit. Seriously, we could use more people. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take a short break here. Um, let's see, where's my little break thing? I forgot to set my timer. Boink! And this is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. I am currently playing Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands. That's Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, uh, and all the DLC for both of them, all in the Fallout New Vegas engine. Just finishing up the pit here, and I will be back shortly. Our music for the day is um, the Boo Radley's Wake Up. Oh, ooh, coffee burp. Um, anyway, I will be back and and uh, oh yeah, have a good one, Gil. Gil. Um, nice. Uh, thanks for making it uh, to the stream.